Alright guys, Len here. Just thought I'd do a little video on my setup for the sucker pump. Now, this is a bolt that I have inside the sucker pump. This is my sucker pump, I'll just show you. That's the top of it there. Where is it? There. So that's the bolt inside. So I'm just using the bolt for demonstration purposes. And it's a fairly long one. And it works pretty good. So what I wanted to show you was my arrangement. I love inventing things and testing and all that. So I wanted to share this with you guys. James spoke, uh, texted me yesterday about putting a washer behind the, the uh, rubber grommets and everything. And yeah, I do that. So this is how I do it. So this is the bolt inside. Just pretend that's the bolt inside the sucker pump. So a washer goes on. I got one. Uh, I got this rubber from a hardware place. It's about that thick. Don't know, a couple of mil. Cut it to size. That goes on. Right. Then I use this foam, like from the the doodle, the water doodle thing, whatever they call. Them. That goes on. This morning I actually tried putting some gorilla tape. The American uses Gorilla Tape because I found it was just squashing in a bit, so I just wanted a nice tight fit around the inside of the tube. I've tried it. I don't know how long it's going to last because I haven't done a big tests with it yet. That goes on. Then another bit of this rubber goes on like that. Then another washer, so I've got the two washers, a bit of rubber, the main bit of foam, another bit of rubber, a washer. Then, the other week I, I had a nut that used to fit over there, but I wanted to lock tight it so it won't come undone when you're suckering in a creek or crevices. So I just glued that together with builder's adhesive. So that goes on here. You tie that down tight, I'll just squeeze all that up there, and in the sucker pump, it's going to look like that. And of course, this has two bolts down in the sucker pump in the plunger itself, they're lock nuts. So, this will be squeezing as I turn this, it'll be squeezing up against the bolts that are actually inside here, as you can see down in there. So, I'll be able to do it up tight. So there you have it. That then goes down in the bolt in my crevice sucker. And so to date, um, this configuration works really well. Because when I'm not using it, I just undo it. When I want to use it, if I need a bit more pressure, I just do this up and I can't hold it with my fingers. It's too hard. But this will just squeeze all that up hard against the inside of the tube. So there you go guys, that's my little configuration. Hope you like it. Len signing off. Bye for now.